I'd like to offer a warm welcome to our Father McGivney families, visitors, and distinguished guests. The existence of this building, and more importantly, the dream that made Father McGivney a reality, is all thanks to so many people. I would like to thank the members of the Father McGivney Founders Board, our school board members, our parish priests, elementary principals, and of course our amazing faculty for their dedication to providing an excellent Catholic education to children and young adults in this area. I would like to offer a special thank you to Father McGivney President, the Very Reverend Father Jeff Geckner, and School Board Chairman Doug Vilhart, for their continued guidance and support for Father McGivney. All of our students are grateful for your tireless efforts. And now I turn to our honored guests in the front row. I, along with our entire faculty and staff, offer our congratulations to the 2018 graduating class of Father McGivney Catholic High School as you enter into the next phase of your life. This afternoon is about honoring you for all your hard work as a Griffin. However, this is not a journey that you walked alone. You have created a network of support that will be here to cheer you when you succeed, pick you up when you fall, and even kick you in the butt when you think life's too hard or unfair. Your friends and family, and yes, even your teachers, <clears throat> will always be here for you. So let's take a moment and recognize those people who supported you along this journey by standing up and giving them an ovation. So as one chapter of your life ends, another one begins. This next chapter will expose you to experiences that will open your eyes to new ways of thinking, to things that may question the fundamental beliefs that you've held so dear, and to push you mentally more than you've ever experienced. I know these experiences sound intimidating, but they are necessary for you to truly identify who you are. There are times that you will fail and that you may want to quit. My words are not meant to discourage you, but only prepare you for the reality that comes along with achieving your goals. Please remember this quote from one of my favorite books, The Alchemist, from Paulo Coelho. The secret of life, though, is to fall seven times and to get up eight times. In those times when you struggle and need guidance, all you need to do is pray, and in the moment of silence, God will be there for you. Please listen. God will provide you with the guidance you need. 
Everything you've been taught at Father McGivney is rooted in the teachings of Jesus Christ. You've been given all the tools you need to serve those in need and to show compassion and be disciples of Jesus Christ. If you can do that, you will live as the person that God envisioned you to be. And there is no greater accomplishment a person can achieve than that. I am so very proud of each and every one of you. You've worked hard, and it's that hard work, persistence, and dedication that have provided you with the opportunities that you have before you. I would love to guarantee that you'll be successful, but all I can do is give you encouragement. The only person who can guarantee success is you. There will always be distractions in your life. These distractions will come in all shapes and sizes. Relationships, parties, sports, and sometimes even just being lazy. It'll be up to you to balance those distractions with your purpose. Hard work, persistence, and focus will prepare you to take advantage of the opportunities when they present themselves. The hard part is knowing which opportunities will lead you to your life's calling and which will have you chasing shadows of someone else's dreams. So please remember this quote by Steve Jobs when you're making choices about your life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Finally, I wanted to tell you that it's my distinct privilege to have spent my first year as a principal with so many great people. You have prepared yourself to do great things. Be confident enough in yourself to live big. Recognizing that confidence can easily turn to arrogance. So no matter what you accomplish in your life, always stay humble. Be proud of what you do. But don't let that, but don't, you don't need to boast. Others will recognize your excellence and boast for you. That is the true sign of excellence. So good luck, and God bless you all. The honors of cum laude, magna cum laude, and sumo cum laude represent the hard work and determination these students have exhibited throughout their time at Father McGivney High School. The cum laude distinction honors those graduates with cumulative grade point averages of 3.5 to 3.699. The magna cum laude honors those with a cumulative grade point average of 3.7 to 3.899. And the sumo cum laude honors those with cumulative GPAs of 3.9 to 4.0. Students, when your name is called, please proceed to the stage to receive your medal. Parents, siblings, and grandparents, I invite you to stand when your student comes across the stage, in an opportunity for us to recognize you for your support throughout this time. If you can, please hold your applause until all the honor students have received their medals. Father Jeff will help us in awarding those medals today. Magdalene Fine, daughter of Brian Fine and Nancy Fine, sumo cum laude. Congratulations. Simeona Rasp, daughter of John and Lenora Rasp, Granddaughter of the late Lawrence Rasp and Elizabeth Rasp, and the late Segundo Reyes and Simeona Reyes. Sumo cum laude. <laughs> Teresa Bars, daughter of Stephen and Tony Bars, granddaughter of Robert and Mary Mayer and Rudolph and Carol Bars, sumo cum laude. <laughs> Noah Pirtle, son of James and Carolyn Pirtle, grandson of John and Mary Phillips, James Pirtle, and Rick and Sue Bickle, sumo cum laude. Pauline Coopins, daughter of Agnes Voigt and August Coopins, 
exchange daughter of Rodney and Angela Rice, granddaughter of Yaus and Thea Kupins, and Lena and Hank Voigts. It's magna cum laude. Penelope Edwards, daughter of Richard and Amy Edwards, and granddaughter of Tom and Patricia Eichstadt, and Beth and Wayne Smith, magna cum laude. <laughs> Colton Cleet, son of Kevin and Kelly Cleet, grandson of Dorothy Murray, magna cum laude. Marie Moss, daughter of Patrick and Nikki Moss, granddaughter of Karen Moss, Dave and Mara Moss, Peter and Janet Toussaint, and Roger and Nansa Davis, magna cum laude. <laughs> Noah Meton, son of Steve and Lori Meton, grandson of Mario Meton, Gary Borgard and Madonna Waterman, magna cum laude. <laughs> Abigail Potshadley, daughter of the late Craig Potshadley and Julie Potts, granddaughter of the late Cheryl and John Jackson, magna cum laude. Lorraine Eden, daughter of Jane and Fon or sorry, John and Fonda Eden, granddaughter of the late John and Eula Eden, and the late Floyd and Susie Coley, cum laude. Honor to present the Father McGivney Legacy Award which is the highest award presented to two graduating seniors. The recipients of this award have been nominated by the Father McGivney administration and faculty. The recipients exemplify a spirit, the spirit of, the, of our Catholic high school and our patron, Father Michael J. McGivney. Both recipients have ex exhibited the foundational pillars of unity, charity, fraternity, and patriotism. They possess an excellent attitude of efficiency in academics, demonstrated a Christ-centered and active faith life, devoted to serving the culture of life, and joyfully living out their faith through prayer, the celebrations of the sacraments, while courageously sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus. On behalf of Father McGivney High School Administration, I'm honored to present the Father McGivney Legacy Award to Miss Amory Moss, Mr. Jack Powell. I'm also happy to present uh, the Magna Caritas President's Award. Uh, the Magna Car Caritas President's Award is presented to an individual who has demonstrated a great love for Catholic education, a great love for promoting the mission of Father McGivney High School through prayer, encouragement, and selfless service. The award is presented on behalf of the Office of the President of Father McGivney High School. Today will mark the fourth time the award has been presented. Gene Johnson, Superintendent of Catholic Schools for the Diocese of Springfield in 2016. 
John and Sherry Gibbons, members of the Founders Board, recipients in 2017. This year, the Magna Caritas President Award is presented to two individuals. The first recipient of the award this year is Archbishop George Lucas, former bishop of our diocese and current bishop, archbishops of the Archdiocese of Omaha, Nebraska. He received this reward for his early support, prayer, and commitment to establish a Catholic high school in Southern Madison County. This is where we are now, Father McGivney Catholic High School. He received this award on May 3rd at the annual St. Louis Legatus Prayer Breakfast. So we're deeply grateful uh, to Archbishop Lucas' support and continued support as we honored him with this recognition. Today's recipient of the award is a member of the Father McGivney's Founders Board, a priest, and a dean of the Diocese of Springfield in Illinois. At this time, I invite another member of the Founders Board to assist me in presenting this award. Good afternoon. My name is Diane Vilhard, and I'm a member of the Founders Board of Father McGivney Catholic High School. And as such, I'm often asked, how did you start a high school? I can launch into a description of surveys, feasibility studies, town hall meetings, sustainability analysis, building and design, prayers, and faith. But the short answer is Father Tom. Father Tom Meyer was the new pastor of our parish, St. Mary's, when a small group of us from Southern Madison County we're wondering if our community could sustain and support our own Catholic high school. I had met Father Tom when he was a deacon at my childhood parish, St. Ambrose and Godfrey, some 10 years earlier. And I fondly recalled how loved he was, especially by the school children, youth group, and high schoolers. I remember being nervous to even approach Father Tom about this idea of building a Catholic high school. But when my husband, Doug, and I mentioned it to him, he was immediately on board and enthusiastic. In fact, Father Tom was one of our earliest angel donors, making one of the largest donations from his own retirement savings to the new Catholic high school. I distinctly remember his exact words. I was saving this for retirement, but there's no place I'd rather be when I retire than in that high school. We could not have continued pursuing a Catholic high school without Father Tom's early and enthusiastic support, help, and prayers. Another thing people ask us founders is why did you name the school Father McGivney Catholic High School? Again, the short answer is Father Tom. The venerable Michael McGivney was a parish priest. He was never a bishop or pope. He served as a parish priest for 13 years in the 1880s, where his youthful vision and commitment to families were progressive ideas for the times. His passion for youth and Christian leadership led to his founding of the Knights of Columbus, which started in his church basement. Today, the KC's is the largest fraternity in the world. As Father Tom supported our Catholic high school initiative and served on the first board of directors, now the Founders Board. He led the way for many other local parish priests to get involved and support a new school. It was an easy decision then to honor all of our parish priests with the naming of Father McGivney Catholic High School. Currently pastor of Our Savior Parish and School in Jacksonville, Illinois, Father Tom continues to emulate Father McGivney as a parish priest who is passionate about the families he serves his parish and grade school, and his local route Catholic high school. However, his dedication to fulfilling the mission of Father McGivney Catholic High School, serving the culture of life, will never be forgotten. Father Tom, I hope you feel fulfilled and inspired by each and every class that graduates from Father McGivney Catholic High School. They are exceptional human beings, taught in this special school to think, serve, and pray, in a way that will change the world for better. Just like we used to dream about in those board meetings before we even had a school. This class is already doing amazing things. And graduates, in the past four years, you have heard and hopefully experienced 
the pillars of unity, charity, fraternity, and patriotism throughout your high school careers. You have learned to live the mission serving the culture of life through study, prayer, and service. Take the time today to meet a true pioneer of your school who helped build those pillars and mission by living them out, Father Tom Meyer. Father McGivney tradition, the top three students are selected to provide reflections on their time at McGivney. Those students for the class of 2018 are Ms. Maggie Fine, Ms. Simi Rask, and Ms. Teresa Bars. Maggie? Hi everyone, wow guys, I look at you all here now and it's incredible to see how much you've grown and how far we've come. Interestingly enough, today I also celebrate my 17th gotcha day, meaning 17 years ago, on this day, May 20th, I was adopted from China and given a beautiful new chance at life. Coincidentally, history repeated itself about four years ago on August 14th when I was again adopted into another family. Although this family was, dare I say, different? I'm sure you're all familiar with the TV show, John and Kate Plus Eight. Well, this family puts that show to shame. They could have called themselves Father McGivney Plus 28. I never met a family that had that many kids, let alone all born in the same year. And weirdly enough, they looked absolutely nothing alike. Well, all but at least two. <laughs> I had no idea who this Father McGivney guy was at the time, but my curiosity was piqued, to say the least. But aside from this family's impressive and somewhat alarming uh, reproduction rate, they were all very welcoming, kind-hearted, and loaded with energy, as most freshmen are. Nonetheless, I was eager to join the family, but little did I know what I was getting myself into. I can still remember us as a baby freshman class four years ago. But honestly, doesn't it feel like yesterday when Mr. Scholz was telling us that orientation, it goes by quick. Boy, was he right. It feels like we were walking the halls, or should I say, hall and a half, at St. John Newman all but a week ago, or that the infamous homecoming game for freshman year, when embarrassingly enough, our opponents failed to show up. <laughs> and I'm sure we can all remember Mr. Blocker's Friday pages and the hand cramps that went along with them. We created the unconventional traditions of bringing the Pope to school dances, high-fiving our principal on a daily basis, annually pieing our teachers in the face, and without fail, singing happy birthday to each student, even when they tried to hide somewhere to avoid this at all costs. Needless to say, Father McGivney Catholic High School is anything but ordinary. Back then, although, high school felt like anything but quick. We felt like time was standing still as we found ourselves drowning in Ms. Dorgan's AP prompts, Ms. Hildebrand's lab reports, Ms. Peary's midterms, and Coach, Bain, Coach Vance's famous burpees. Every notorious 11.59 p.m. due date seemed, in the moment, like it was never ending, but looking back, they were over within a blink of an eye. I guess it's true when they say time flies when you're having fun, especially with the people you love. So while we may not miss the endless assignments, tests, and work, or, the or even the physical journey to school on that horrendous and very bumpy old Troy Road, the spiritual, mental, faith, and faith-based journey, which helped us to grow each and every day here, will be profoundly missed. Father McGivney Catholic High School is more than just a school to us. It is our home. It is where the teachers went above and beyond the standard, teaching us to remember the bigger picture and how to think critically. 
It is where the curriculum was precisely outlined as a foundation to further our education and ourselves. And finally, it is where the faith was made no stranger to us, providing a comfortable and encouraging environment. This experience has filled us with memories to last a lifetime, and we are parents, and we owe our parents, classmates, faculty, staff, supporters, and most importantly, our God, a debt of gratitude for this amazing opportunity to grow and learn. And just, with, and just as with my first adoptive family, our McGivney family gave me a beautiful new chance at life. You all not only gave me the strength to keep pushing through the difficult days, but more importantly taught me how to find that strength within myself. All of you showed me the importance of a shoulder to cry on, or how even the little support can go a long way. Which, by the way, thanks for never mentioning how much of an ugly crier I am. Or at least to my face. And lastly, each of you have helped me build a confidence in myself that I once saw difficult to find on my own. So thank you, class of 2018. Whether you know it or not, each of you has made an impact in my life, and the love you have all shown will never be forgotten. I'll be the first to attest family is not necessarily defined by biological means, but through the love shared and the bonds formed between individuals. As a class, we have experienced joys and sorrows, gains and losses, successes and failures. We have made new friends and lost classmates, all of which has made us stronger as a class and as individuals. So we truly are one big family, because no matter how far you may go, family is never truly apart. Maybe in distance, but never in heart. Each of you has a heart that is truly unique, and I love you more than you may ever know. I have no doubt I will be hearing of all your great accomplishments and the many great things you do in the big wide world. From defending our country to defending against computer viruses, from building houses to building new organs, I am unquestionably confident that we, the class of 2018, will change the world for the better. Thank you again for the best four years of my life. Here, Miss Simi Rass. In typical high school senior fashion, I waited until the last possible day to write this speech. <laughs> it wasn't intense and chronic senioritis keeping me from writing, though. No, rather, it was the fact that every time I searched how to write a graduation speech, I only got super cliche examples and prompts like, we've come so far over these past four years, or we've gone through good times and bad times but we've gotten through it all. While both are true statements, it's a bit boring, especially for a class that is often anything but. If you've ever been to a McGivney school dance, you know exactly what I mean. But really though, the class of 2018 is truly a unique bunch. We may have started as unsure freshmen in a wing of a grade school of all places, but over time we've grown into some very mature, responsible, and respectable adults. No sarcasm there. In all seriousness, though, we have changed a lot, and that didn't just happen on its own. For that, we have to thank all of our teachers, coaches, staff, etc. I mean, where would we be without Mrs. Dorgan bribing us with cookies, or Mrs. Spa teaching us to foil it, then Miss Peary teaching us that's not actually a verb, and, of course, Mrs. Madura hounding each of us down about college. They aren't the only ones we should be thanking, though. Parents, you have also done a lot for us and continue to do so each and every day, so a big heartfelt thank you to you guys. And finally, a big thank you to you, Class of 2018. I know each and every one of us has been greatly impacted and influenced by at least one person in our class. Even if they may not physically be here with us today, they're still with us in our hearts. So yeah, I know I didn't want to be cliche, but looking at you guys, I really can't help but think, wow, we've really come far. These past four years may not have been the most fun or the easiest. AP classes, various papers and projects, and that shark dissection sure make, didn't make that easy for us. But nonetheless, they've given us some great memories, some lasting friendships, shown us who we are, and have helped, and have helped to prepare us for whatever we should cho choose to pursue later on. So congratulations, guys. And in the words of our house captain, let's give another round of applause for all of us graduates. Now for our next speaker, Ms. Teresa Bars. Good afternoon. 
On behalf of the class of 2018, I would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone who came to celebrate with us today. Among you are our families, mentors, teachers, coaches, our pastors, and our closest friends. The years of support, the sacrifices you've made, and the countless gifts you've given us have not been unappreciated. Thank you for everything you have done to make this success possible. I would especially like to think, thank the teachers and staff of Father McGivney. These men and women have gone above and beyond to make sure we are not just ready, but fully prepared for success in every way possible. They have taught us so much more than math or science or history. They have shown us how to live healthy and happy lives rooted in Christ. I cannot thank them enough for everything they have taught us. This is the end of our high school years. This is the end of seven to eight hour school days. This is the end of study halls and study halls. This is the end of ping pong after lunch, mass uniforms, high fives in the hallway, dreading birthdays, and praying your computer won't do something random while you're in lockdown. It's the end of house, getting way into Sweet Caroline, salty memes, and stats class. This is the end of our time at Father McGivney. Some of us are nervous or scared of what's ahead, and others couldn't be more ready for their next adventure. Regardless, I have no doubt that everyone in our class will find success wherever life leads them. In the past four years, I have seen every one of us grow in some way. Each, is a, each of us have had moments where our character was tested, and we learned from these moments and became stronger for them. We have all had our struggles and our failures, but we didn't let that stop us. No matter what happened, we had each other's backs. I think the most powerful characteristic of this school is the fact that the friends we make here start to feel more like family. I have met so many, many amazing people at this school that I will never forget. Every person has taught me something important. I don't think any of us have come out of our time here at McGivney unchanged. Four years ago, we were crazy freshmen. And who are we now? We're leaders, tutors, volunteers, patriots, social rights activists, athletes, artists, successful students, and in a few minutes, high school graduates. And it's time to go now. It's time to go out into the world and do something. We're not completely certain of what that might be yet. We're still finding our way. But whatever that something is, make it something that is worthy of the person you are and the person you know you can be. I want all of us to stop and think of everything we're taking with us. All the experiences we've had, the wisdom from our parents, teachers, and mentors, the obstacles we thought were impossible, but we fought and we overcame them. We have been given so much. We have been through too much to stop now. I know all of us are capable of amazing things. Push yourself. Find out where life is leading you and give your all to whatever that might be. Wherever you go, become the soul of that place. Live your life and love it. Be bold and take advantage of every opportunity. Always remember that you are loved and appreciated. Always remember that there are people who will always care about you. Behind you are rows and rows of the people who love you most, the people who will always be there for you. They know who you were, who you are, and who you can become, and they're so proud of you. Don't let them down. Don't let yourself down. You got this. I believe in you. Become the best person you can be and don't settle for anything less. And in the words of the most inspiring person I know, you were made for greatness and you should live accordingly. Thank you. Please hold your applause until all students have received their diplomas. Teresa Claire Bars. Abigail Marie Bloodworth. Yeah. Haley Martha Ann Booker. Elizabeth Monique Campbell. Pauline Sarah Copens. Lorraine Elaine Eden.
Penelope Louise Edwards. Magdalene Noelle Fine. Sydney Kendra Finley. Savannah Rose Holthouse. Daniel Alexander Jones. Colton Thomas Cleet. Connor Matthew Cleet. Washington James Alexander Wilson Leffler. Noah Joseph Meton. Amory Juliet Moss. Spencer Paul Neal. Jack Anthony Paolo. Zena Anne Marie Pendle. Noah James Pertle. Simeona Vance Grass. Logan James Shumay. Elijah Michael Skubish. Leanna Leslie Spiker. Matthew Scott Taphorn. Alexander Ray Van Howen. Paige Marie Wallace.
Please join me in congratulating the Father McGivney Catholic High School class. that symbolizes your transition from candidate to graduate. This is the last task you will perform as Father McGivney Catholic High School students. Class of 2018, please rise and remain standing. Under the authority of the state of Illinois, I certify with confidence that you have successfully completed all academic requirements and are hereby entitled your high school diploma and all the rights and privileges that go with that honor. Graduates, at this time, please move your tassels from the right side to the left side. It's official. Congratulations. <laughs> Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord God, we ask your almighty hand to be upon these graduates today. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and love. Help them stay to true, to true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and love. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May almighty God bless and protect you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Please stand for the school song. <laughs> 